Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to do one of my all-time favorite videos, and that is a great big Zara try-on haul. I've got a little bit of everything in this haul. I think I've got something for everyone. This was actually about three different orders. So you know when I am shopping, I usually have something on my mind, which that's what makes it fun. But another thing I'm wanting to do is to try to keep up with Zara new releases so that I can bring those things to you. We may like them, we may not. I think I have two or three things even here that I have to send back that just aren't good for me, but you may like them. And I'm gonna try to keep up with it because with Zara, you have to get it before it's gone. Like I said, there's gonna be something for everyone. Before I get started, I wanted to show you, I finally used the eyeshadow that I showed you in my, I'll put my last Zara video. It was either the last one or the last one, but I will post both of those down below. And I have to say it's beautiful, but I think it's a little bit too dark for me. What do you think? I don't know. I've got on more color on my lips and more color on my eyes and it's freaking me out a little bit, but that's okay. And then I just wanted to show you these sunglasses because I realized when I was editing some of my B-roll of the outfits, I had these on in my hair. These are just cheapies from Amazon. Zara, if you're out there, I would love to help you do some sunglasses because every time I go on the Zara website and I look for sunglasses, I think it just had kids and men's. That is a dream of mine and I would love that. So this first outfit is something I could not wait to show you. This is dedicated to my love of dressy blouses with denim. Now, of course, you could put this with a pencil skirt underneath a suit, and I'm very sorry that this ruins it, but I feel like it does help the video. I put it on and I just told myself right then, I'm gonna wear this for the video. Wrapped up in this haul too are gonna be several of the latest spring trends. I'm doing a video about that coming up later on in the week, but a lot of these things will go into some of those trends. This is one I'm not gonna focus on in that video, but it is sheer fabrics. Sheer fabrics is a big trend and this is sheer, but I wanted to show you how wearable this sheer top is. And my instinct is to tuck it in, but I wanted to show you how pretty it is. Just left out like this with, if you still love your skinny jeans, I think this would look great with skinny jeans and maybe a blazer. Oh my gosh, if you have like killer legs, put this on with some denim shorts and some heels. Oh my goodness, I used to love dressy black shorts that kind of flared out and then high heels with a top. That would be amazing. It's just a beautiful, beautiful top. And because of the ruffles, it really hides. I do have on a nude bra, but it hides anything that you would be worried about. Now I have it on today with just some baggy distressed denim. And my favorite look is a pair of like stiletto or at least some type of pointed toe shoe, preferably black with this outfit. So I just think that this is a really, really chic outfit. Let me tuck the shirt in so you can see it that way too. Okay, and because it's so thin and sheer, it tucks in well. This is just so good to me. I think it is beautiful. This top is timeless. I think you would be able to use it during the holidays. It would really look good under a leather moto jacket too, or a leather, like faux leather blazer. I just think it's beautiful. Okay, the next thing I have is a fabulous black dress. Probably my number one staple go-to in my wardrobe for any event, any day. I love a black dress and Zara has come through <laughs> with the black dresses every year for me. This one is really a little notch above what I typically get for my day-to-day -day with flip-flops, although you could certainly wear this with flip-flops, but it has this kind of elastic band top with a gather, so it gives you that extra interest at the shoulder, but yet you can still wear a bra with it. It's very flattering in the neckline and dips down just a little bit in the back. It is kind of like, I would say, between a midi and pretty much a maxi. I don't know, I feel like when I think of maxi dress, I think of 
just to the floor. This one is going to be just about to your ankles and I loved it. Some of these things I've already worn and you'll see in here and then some of them I just tried on for you. But this is just gorgeous. I'm not sure if this comes in any additional colors, but if it does, I will probably get it. I love it. This is also so good for a cocktail party, a nighttime wedding, just everything. With these prices, that's the beauty of it, is you can get something just to wear a few times or just to have something that makes you feel special on just no occasion at all and you didn't like spend a fortune for it. Okay, this is something pretty funky. This is for those of you that, like me that love to push the envelope a little bit with your fashion and love to try fun things. It is a sheer-ish denim looking <laughs> skirt. So the trends we have here are long skirts are just going to be so in, so are denim skirts. So you have both of those here. I wore this the other day and I loved it all day. This is my thing. Even in high school, I used to love to wear skirts with just different tops with Hirachi sandals and little ballet flats and things like that. I didn't wear heels. I, I would wear like a heel about that big, maybe a half an inch or an inch. I've always loved skirts and this goes right along with it. Now I did size up and I will down below put all of the exact lengths and the sizes. I got the medium and it was none too big. So I would say size up in this. It could be in the right light, a little bit see-through, but, <laughs> but being the key word here, I don't know if it's enough. I did not wear anything under it and I don't see how you could. The only thing I can think of that may bother you, and I thought it was gonna be a deal breaker for me because I'm a Virgo and I'm not too bad, but it bothered me that the seam, see how the seam of the skirt seems to be kind of twisted even though this seam is right here, but that just I think adds to the edginess and the unexpectedness of this skirt. So this I really loved. I wore it, I think, with a, just a cropped t-shirt. It would look great with just a white ribbed tank. Oh, and if you really, you know, were worried about it, just throw it on with like a long cardigan with a bandeau or a tank underneath it. Just really cool. Okay, right up my alley. I've always loved a good shirt dress. I also love things like this that are kind of silky and I mean I'm sure it's just polyester. This too has beautiful sleeves with the pleats, the covered buttons, the pleats right here and it has like a little peplum type thing right at I would say right at the knee and it's just an amazing dress. This is very versatile also. You could easily put it under a cardigan, a moto jacket for sure. You could wear it with tights, you could wear it with boots. And this would also be a good dress to hide your tummy if you're pregnant or you just had a baby. I've been in all these situations, so I know. This is the kind of dress that will help you out. If you're someone that is more apple shaped and you have just killer legs, but you're not as comfortable with your upper body, this is the type of outfit. It's just a really cool dress. I love it. I love anything that kind of swishes back and forth when I walk. It's all about how things make you feel and anytime something makes me feel more feminine and dressed up, I love it. Okay, it's going to be hard for me to pick my favorite piece from this haul, but this is probably going to be it. I wore this yesterday and I filmed a Chanel handbag unboxing and I wanted to wear it all day. I felt like a million bucks. I love every single thing about it, but it's been cold. So I ended up having to change clothes. This is magnificent. It is just the most beautiful red dress. And I did get the medium. I've noticed in most things, I do size up. I mean, there's a possibility I could have worn the small, but I like things to kind of just hang more on my frame. I think it's, you know, about how you're built and stuff too, and your age and things like that. But this is a medium and it is absolutely gorgeous. It has this, you know, detail up at the front 
and it lays perfectly. It's not one of those that you have a hard time like keeping it straight or anything. Zips up the back. See, it has like a few little pleats right there. So it was pretty forgiving on the tummy and just magnificent. I love this. This is going to be one of those things I keep forever. I've got some Zara pieces in my wardrobe that I have had since the beginning. Okay, another big trend, and this is going to be something I talk about in my future video, is done up denim. Any type of denim, skirts, it's everything that has detail. That kind of takes me back because I think in the late 80s, that was when the acid wash came back. I can remember in my early 20s having a matching set of jeans and a matching jacket that went with it that was a little multi like this and it had gold buttons and I loved it. So this is a pair of jeans from Zara that goes right along with that trend. They are high-waisted and I got the six. So I did size up. If I wanted a tighter fit, I could have worn the size four, but here again, you know how I am. I wore these all day yesterday and loved them. They're really cool and they are just spot on with the trends. Denim is just gonna be a big thing. So let me make sure you see all of the details. They feel really good. It's almost like a curvy fit. This is something that I can't say it didn't work for me, but it's not practical for me. And Brooke helped me. She came over this week and helped me steam everything. Although when I get these Zara boxes, everything is packed so nicely. It is like it's from a high-end department store. When I get boxes from, I think one of the worst presentation boxes I've ever gotten is from Tory Burch when I spent all that money on those bags. And a lot of places I'll get something that's really expensive and it comes to me crushed up and they just threw it in there and it's been shuffling all over the place. Zara boxes have not been that way, which I don't know if that's a big deal, but it is to me. So Brooke was steaming everything and she really loved this. And so she's going to get it because I wore it yesterday. I had to cut it to make it just a tuck in top because it didn't have snaps. Because this is kind of like, it's really soft, comfortable. I'm really, I'm going to see if it's available in black because I'll get the black, but it's almost like sculpt wear or like a leotard or something for dance <laughs> and it's just beautiful but i cannot imagine wearing a bra under this it would have to be a smooth minimal bra so when i didn't wear one you could see slam through it so there you go i can wear this if i wear something over it but i do like it it just didn't work out for me this is something i really wanted this to work let me Hold it like this so you'll know. It's a little top, very similar to Norma Kamali. Very similar to her designs. You know, she has the Diana dress that is so popular. Sarah Jessica Parker wore it in white. It's similar to that design. I really wanted it to work for me, but I think it's going to be better for those of you that have smaller chests than I do. You'll see in the footage that I had to like really rumple it up right here. Otherwise it just wanted to just go like that. And it just wasn't flattering on me, but I love it. It's perfect to wear with jeans. This is perfect for skirts. Perfect. So I hate that it didn't work out for me, but it's just the way I'm built. Okay. I won't spend too much time on these. This one I haven't tried on yet, but I'm going to have to return these also. For some reason I got a small in these but I don't think it would matter. They are very fitted, very nice. It's like an elevated tank, but the bra situation with me. And I tried to wear this one and right here, I'm in front of these sliding glass doors and you could see through it. So I tried to show you the best that I could and it's just hard. I know that they, you can put a tee back bra with it, but for me, there are just, I would rather just wear a tank top or something. So these two just didn't work out for me, but you may like them. There was nothing wrong with them. Matter of fact, I like that they were kind of dressy. Now this one did work out. I love it. Stripes are always in, but I have seen a lot of stripes this year, especially sweaters. So this is going to be your summer version, your summertime version of stripes. And you guys, you'll know these problems. A lot of times, if the stripes aren't in the right place, your stripe could go like that. It could go like that, you know. But these were in a good place. I'm thinking that's navy and not black, but 
I think you could probably do both. But this also would be great to wear with denim, a denim skirt, just white or off-white jeans, a lot of possibilities. I love because it's the whole Bridget Bardot French vibe, but in something that I would wear typically, like a tank top. I did get the small and this one was perfect. I tell you what I usually do is I use their size helper. I know my measurements right here, right here, and right here, and that will help you most of the time. This is such a winner. Oh my goodness. And these hangers are the ones I got from Zara too. I'm not going to keep this hanging. Don't freak out. But this is yet another trend, which is the open work, like the crochet and netting, a lot of just openness. And I was thinking I was going to try to do that over bathing suits. And I ended up returning everything I got because it wasn't something that I could wear with a bra because it was too open. But I just thought, I'm not going to do that. So I returned everything that I had gotten from another place. And then this is perfect because this gives you that open trend but I can wear it with nothing underneath it and it looks great. It almost reminds me of my grandmother used to, oh my gosh, she was always doing something, but she used to do afghans and she would not knit, but crochet. And she would do the popcorn stitch. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. I have an afghan that she did like that. And I love the colors, all my colors, the lavender, the chartreuse, pink, little bit of a really pretty orange. So this is just a must have. Think of this over a slip dress. Think of this over a white tank and jean shorts with your sneakers. This is something that would really, really, really be versatile. Okay, this set, this belt does come with it. And I believe I tried it on for you with this belt, but I would say use your own belt. Maybe you have a belt that you love. It could be your Gucci belt. If you're like me, I have belts from forever ago. So I probably would not use this belt. And I believe you can buy these two separately, but I wanted this set and I apologize. I ran out of my hangers. So it's this skirt that is like a pleated skirt, beautiful, perfect length. I always say this, but Amal Clooney, Angelina Jolie, Victoria Beckham. I'm trying to think of these ladies that are so sexy and so beautiful, but they can wear conservative outfits and it still keeps that same feeling. That's how this is. I love it. So this top also can be worn by itself, but the two of these together are pretty magical. You could even throw on a colored belt or think of this with a black belt and then your dark like Kelly green pumps or red pumps or something like that. There's just a lot you can do with this. Okay, speaking of denim and skirts, this is a must have. This is one of those things that I can 95% guarantee you're gonna love. And it's this long column straight denim skirt. Slit comes up the perfect length to make it very, very easy to walk. And it is stretchy. The whole skirt is stretchy. So it's super comfortable and it goes down long. So it's so on trend. This would look so good with your flip flops and a t-shirt with your black tank top and your black sandals. I don't know, one of the button up shirts and some nude pumps. This is one of those things. I've always had a denim skirt forever. I can remember when I was little, my mom bringing me one home and it had sparkle something on the pockets. And I was just like so freaked out and stoked. I loved it so much. So I have always, always worn denim skirts. A lot of times they were very short, but those days are gone. And now I'm loving this one. So look forward to me wearing this wedges. Oh my gosh. It makes me think about like the eighties or early nineties, the candies. Here we go. Another just gorgeous, beautifully fitting dress. This one is not so polyester-y feeling. It's more of a satin feel. Just gorgeous. Here again, you could put your own belt with it, but when I tried this on, I really liked this. I felt like it added to the whole look. Another trend that I am hitting this year and featuring is florals. And I'm going to do them my way. I'm not the typical floral. I would much rather have a solid dress most of the time, 
but I am going to choose florals that go with my style. This is it. This hits on floral and tropical. See how that's like a hibiscus? I mean, does it get any better than that? It is so Diane von Furstenberg. It's so, like I said, Victoria Beckham. I can see Sarah Jessica Parker. It is just classy, sexy, mature woman. This dress broke my heart. I'm going to let it break my heart even more. I love this so much. I think I sized up to a medium. Look at these crystal straps. They're backed with like a fabric so they don't like cut into your arm. Beautiful. When I put it on, Brooke was here and I was like, oh gosh, it's puckering under my arms. Then I realized it had a zipper on the side right here. So that really helped that side under my arm, but it still puckers under the other arm. I am either going to suck it up and wear it like that, just depending on what I'm wearing it with, or what I'll probably do is go get it fixed because I love this that much. It is a just sexy, feminine, old Hollywood, make you feel so good just sitting around the house kind of dress. And for the price, I just want to keep it. It's worth it to me to get it altered and make it perfect. It is just beautiful. I mean, you could get married in this dress if you were just doing a casual wedding. It's beautiful. So very good for a cocktail party. I would not wear this to a wedding just because of the whole white thing. You could do it for graduation. All of those events coming up, but when the prices are this good, get it and wear it for yourself. Get it and wear it for a night out with the girls. Wear it for your husband. Just enjoy it. Life is short. Wear the dress every day. This so, so Diane von Furstenberg inspired to me. This one is more of a, I would say kind of a cottony feeling. So it would be good even in the summer. It has these really pretty gold buttons and it does come with its own tie belt, but I tried it on with the belt and I remembered these belts that I have and I tried it on with the gold stretch belt and it just looked so good. I, what would look good with this to me is like some bamboo gold hoops or a cuff bracelet, something like that. And it's again, you know, longer, I would say not a maxi, but you know, above your ankle, just gorgeous, love it. Can't say enough good about it. And I did get the small. So I must have just looked up on their size finder to be able to tell because it was perfect. This dress was a huge surprise because a lot of times I'll get something and I pretty much know there's a 50-50 chance that it's not going to look good on me or it's not going to fit me right or I'm just not going to like it. This one, oh my goodness, it looks so good. What freaked me out at first is there isn't a zipper or buttons and I was like, how am I gonna get this on? Very, very stretchy, like very stretchy. And I got the size medium, which helps, of course. It's $35.90, you just can't beat it, and it comes in other colors, so I may order another color for us, but very chic. When I put this on, I felt some Pamela Anderson vibes. I felt like this would be a good outfit to do some more makeup or hair, like with her look, and I just loved it. The neck, like that funnily type neck, is so flattering, and you guys know how I feel about sleeves that do that. I think any sleeves that kind of, I can't remember, is that like a half sleeve, quarter sleeve? I think that's just ultra flattering. Okay, can't let you down. This is something probably more of what you would expect from me. <laughs> It is a little two-piece set, just amazing, amazing. I did size up to the medium. Honestly, it's got a lot of stretch. I probably could have worn a small as far as it being tight, but I think the medium works out good for me because I'm not necessarily wanting this to be a crop top. And it does come with this, which is the skirt. And this is something I get every year from Zara, is some type of little set like this. And I got the medium in the skirt too. What a fabulous little ensemble here with flip-flops, heels, nude wedges. It just is amazing. I felt amazing in it, which is the biggest point. And I know this will be a winner for John. And I also love this shade of blue. Blue is going to be a big color. I love the way this is kind of a periwinkle. It's a little bit different and just 
ultra flattering. I love it. Okay, last but not least, a blazer. Zara does fabulous blazers. I would say Zara is the number one place that I would go for if I just needed a colored blazer. This I love, but let me tell you why. First of all, it has a kind of like an oversized shape. It does have some shoulder pads, but notice how they're not showing. They're not bulky or just cheap looking. I think I said I got the medium, just a clean line blazer. And this is always the deal breaker for me the buttons. These buttons are beautiful. They're more tone on tone. If these had been white or black or wood tone, any other color, I wouldn't have liked it. But because these are, I don't know if you can tell, but they're actually like a pink, like a mauvey pink and brown type tone. They're just beautiful. So what I wanted to say with this, of course you can wear this with your jeans and a tank top and you can wear it with this or that. But let me tell you what blazers are really good for. You know that awkward dress that you have that has a cutout here, um, it might be a different angle at the hemline. It may be an awkward dress that you have to wear a bra, but you don't want your bra strap showing. To make them even more chic, throw a blazer on over it. You may not think of it. You, first thing you might think of is a sweater or a shawl or something like that. But if you will throw on an oversized blazer with a dress like that, that is just different. It takes on a whole new look. You can even throw it on over your shoulders and just have that kind of vibe, but just the mix of the two looks is just perfect. And it really solves a lot of issues. Think about these for the summer too, because if you're like me, it's hot here. It's hot and humid. Therefore, everywhere you go is going to be freezing. If you work with men, it's going to be freezing. I used to work at a car dealership and we all had to wear jackets every day. Restaurants especially. I always take in a little wrap or some type of jacket to a restaurant. And this is also precious pink. It would be great for Easter, a graduation, a wedding, anything coming up for the spring. Okay, let's get into the shoes. A couple of pairs of these shoes, I think three of them, I actually got last weekend and I've been wearing them. So I can tell you exactly how I feel and I will tell you which ones are the best. First, you have these. And you're thinking, don't you already have those? Well, the ones I have are nude. So I went ahead and got the totally clear ones which I think would look better with like a cobalt dress, a hot pink dress. This outfit today, so, and they're so comfortable. This sling back is amazing. It almost has like a little bit of give and I do get these in my true size. This pair I also got in my true size. These I could not decide if I liked or not. So I went ahead and got them and I will say I don't like them if you're going to wear them in the typical way like with a dress or something like that. What I like these with is with jeans or something that is very casual. But the bad thing is with jeans it would have to be a cropped pair of jeans but they're just super cute, very comfortable. I would not say this style is as comfortable as the sling bag. Favorite shoes, without a doubt, look at these bad boys. These things have made me happy. I had no idea when I ordered these that they were clear. I don't know, I hope you can see. See how they're kind of like the loose side, but look at the crystals and this pointed toe. Gucci has a pointed toe, I think, but I wasn't sure if I would like the pointed toe. Love them. These are just amazing, amazing shoes. They're gonna look so good with so many different things and they would really be a great shoe to have just to keep for cocktail parties or when you wanted something a little elevated and comfortable. Okay, I hope I haven't lost you because these, this is Barbie goodness here. This is the Lucite pair. I think of Barbie and I think of maybe 70s and 80s, but for some reason I think of Carrie on Sex in the City. I don't know. I think she might have worn like a lot of shoes like this. Sexy, feminine, comfortable. These will go with everything. I love them. I 
have had shoes like this. I can remember going to a girlfriend's wedding reception and Brooke was a baby. I don't think I'd had Will yet and I had clear shoes. So I have always loved these and these are just amazing. I wore these with the red dress and it was just perfection. I was so bummed that it was too cold to wear it out yesterday, but I will be wearing these soon. Then this is something that I don't think is going to work out for me. I ordered these US size eight, but they feel a little big, but look at how cool these shoes are. I mean, these look like high end slides. I love the zebra pattern and look at that pretty buckle. They just look really, really pretty on the feet. It's not that they look too big, they feel too big. So I'm thinking I'm gonna order these again in the size below. See, I love flip-flops. I'm more of a flip-flop girl than a slide, but some people have hang-ups about not having anything between their toes this would be good for you. And I believe they come in a couple of different colors. Okay, you guys, that's it. I hope that you saw something that you liked. I hope that you'll buy something for yourself and feel amazing in it. This video is not sponsored. I chose, bought, and got everything full price, just like I always do. I just wanted to kind of make this a new little feature of what's new at Zara. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.